Anti cage. Where's the thing? Overrides the other thing. Hey, little Zimty, thanks for the 211 bits. plays during the bit announcement thing it sounds incongruent with the general demeanor of the stream incongruent with the gen I know when the hotline break that can only mean one thing I don't know what's incongruent about that that's fucking congruent I've ever seen a congruent thing I think I'll stream more at this time. Um, I wasn't really attempting to be awake at 3.40 a.m. I'm not planning to continue attempting that. I think we take 100 gold. I think we take 100 gold and we go this way and we never actually spend the 100 gold. Maybe we should do a different thing then. Um, could just remove a strike now. 100 gold seems better. The cards are green now. It's true. Our ironclad has ascended. I should make the light. We make it green. Green is not one of the like default settings because uh well because it's quite ugly <laughs> as a lighting color. Eh, it's not that bad. Take a dagger spray for a little bit of damage. streaming on Australian time tonight, that's for sure. Okay, backstab is even more damage. So we've got some damage in our silent deck. This is of the spine. Spy. I can use my seven I can use 75 of the hundred gold I got to remove a strike, which was one of the things I was allowed to do at the whale just to start with. Like a Rube Goldberg machine or something. Monito, thanks so much for converting your Twitch Prime to a tier one cell. This is a very bad fight. There's just not much to be happy about 
in this fight. I may die here. That's that's extreme. But I suppose death can come for any of us at any time. I think the deck has probably just barely enough like front-loaded damage, could use some sort of scaling damage, could use some better block. I'm not sure that Blur is the card that we're looking for right now. I guess I'll take it. I do think a block card fits into this deck right now, but Blur isn't really it. I'm not sure that we beat Lagavulin. This card's the best one for beating Lagavulin. I can get away with playing a defend here. And then next turn we try to strike strike survivor. In consideration for neutralize. Neutralize doesn't um, deal enough damage as an upgrade. The problem with upgrading neutralize there is that we would die to like a Mr. Morgan. Points are just a way for the bot to keep track of how long people have been in the channel. They're mostly used for trying to work out if somebody who's spamming links is a spam bot or a human who actually watches the channel or not. Maybe Bouncing Flask. It's an okay card against both Gremlin Knob and Lagavulin. And those are the two that we might be fighting next. Also take Skewer. Bouncing Flask is a lot better against Lagavulin than Skewer is, but Skewer is like maybe better against Gremlin Knob. I think Bouncing Flask. Bouncing Flask isn't my favorite damage card, but it it is definitely a damage card. Sometimes you need those. Red Panders Bear. Thanks so much for gifting two subs to the channel. Hog Bomo Show. You as well. 14, 20. I need 14 more. I think we do this. I would need 12 more. I disregarded the boot in my damage calculations. A mistake which I have no doubt made for the last time. Crippling Cloud is very good. That's a good card. Any game releases I'm looking forward to? Not really. Is this point thing a scam made to generate bitcoins? Uh... No, I don't think so.
As you make your way down a long corridor, you see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. So if I take banana, I don't have to rest and I can upgrade something like Crippling Cloud. It's a good upgrade. If I take donut, I have plus five max HP for the rest of the run. I think I want the Crippling Cloud upgrade. Ever take a box there. Um, they have something that makes the curse downside less bad. Like if I'm getting six max HP out of the curse, or if I can remove it very easily. I might. I take a thousand cuts against slime boss here. Deck's not very good at blocking for the next act. I could take a dodge and roll. Doesn't do that much to help, but it helps a little bit. Sure. Got an upgraded crippling cloud, right? Probably. Oh I have two crippling clouds. Ah. Ah. And one of them is upgraded. That's a lot of damage, so any block that we can get to sort of balance that out would be great to have. Hey, Mr. Mulugulu. If this is your normal stream watching time, you're probably not going to overlap with me super much, yeah. The boot. Crippling Cloud used to do before they changed it. I have no idea. I think it was quite bad. Was it single target? Is that what they changed about it? I remember it became much better when it got changed. Play golf with friends. I have never played golf with friends. Four poison, four weak single target. Three poison, three weak single target. Oh, that is terrible. <laughs> yeah, that's very bad. Very, very bad. When I make a friend, I should check it out. I'll consider it. Who's the trade malaise and adrenaline? Um, it's either malaise or adrenaline. I feel like because of a letter opener, I like adrenaline over malaise here. The fact that Adrenaline's also very regularly dealing 5 AoE damage is, like, a pretty big deal. The laze is really good, and it rounds out our deck in a way that's quite valuable. It makes it so we, uh, have a reliable way to take less damage. But Adrenaline feels so good against Gremlin Leader and, uh, Slavers. I like Runic Vermin. I have an energy potion to help out. 
empty in our hand. I have backstab as a zero. I don't have any piercing whales. I have a blur though. Blur is a really nice card to have with pyramid. Pyramid lets us play cards on the turns where they are most useful. And when a card has immensely varying worth, depending on which turn you play it, like Blur does, that can be very strong. very good at blocking. Not really a surprise or anything. It's just unfortunate. So much boot value last turn. Um, did I? Was it a situation where I like played cards in the wrong order and would have dealt more damage with boot, or was it a situation where there were just more important things to do than play the boot cards? I value turn it the same across all three characters. Well, it's definitely going to be best on a character that cares more about being frail and silent. Probably that character. Catalyst! Catalyst is great. Catalyst speeds up our damage. Backstab would deal fine with boot. Are you sure? Are you sure that it didn't have 11 block and backstab deals 11? Because I'm pretty sure I did that math and it didn't work uh, the way we wanted it to. Have I ever noticed the cultist's fingers are feathers? I think that the cultist's hand is just inside its sleeve. I think it's just like a... Uh, mediocre costume. Nick the Sushi, thanks for the four months on Bomo Show to you as well. What would Boot look like if it upgraded to a boss relic? Just the same, probably. Just identical. Our oh, Lord oh. Boot. I am going to a store next floor. This event happened to be a store and it's a little bit awkward because... Well, we're about to have one of those. But... It works strong enough to buy. There's no reason to remove a card because we can remove a card at the next ah. store after we see what's in it. Noxious fumes is in it. Concentrate is in it. Concentrate's interesting with pyramid. <laughs> Gonna take fumes. <laughs> Where did the fancy light come from? I spent the last three years developing light technology and invented it all on my own. No, I bought it off, off Amazon. But it was very impressive that I worked out how to buy it off Amazon. Yeah, that's what we'll go with. Oh, 
move again, my room looks different. Uh, no, I just rearranged the room a little bit. Not sure this deck wants to fight any elite fights. It has two crippling bombs. The problem is this act is very much like elite fight or campfire, and this deck has a lot of good things to do at campfires, just a lot of very high value upgrades. Maybe take the super elite. Sure, let's fight the super elite. We've got potions. If I upgrade Catalyst, I can beat Book of Stabbing. The potions are like, pretty good at that fight, too. What goes on in the hut behind my character? Just regular life things. Cooking dinner, doing the dishes, putting out the trash. Probably a little bit of streaming, I guess. Is this a cyberpunk stream now? Uh, this is a cyberpunk waiting room stream. I'm gonna take the other catalyst. I'm gonna upgrade the first one. Alright. We can make a lot of poison. I'm gonna upgrade all my strikes and defense. Very powerful event. It's a metallicizing book of stabbing. That's adorable. or something. I watched uh, Always Be My Maybe which had Keanu Reeves in it, which has Keanu Reeves in it. I enjoyed Keanu Reeves' part a lot. Recommend just watching the middle of that movie when uh, Keanu Reeves is in it. Hey, I'm gonna take three catalysts. This is getting a little bit uh, out of <laughs> hand. <laughs> I could have done so many things with my life. <laughs> you love how the entire world loves Keanu Reeves. There's some super villain, like, living in a, a nice cave or something. Who's just, like, putting out serious negative vibes to try to offset what Keanu Reeves does. You don't have heroes without their villains, right? doesn't happen. Thinking about not picking up Regal Pillow. Let's not pick up Regal Pillow. Well, I just upgraded all of my strikes, and there are only three of them. I think I'll keep my health, thanks. Is like escape plan or nothing. Escape plan seems okay. Sure, it seems okay. Ah. 
Engine fizzles. Good morning. Unfortunately, if you have like 17 catalysts but only one source of poison, catalysts aren't actually very good. We're not in quite that bad shape, but it's a thing. Do we care too much about building a bunch of poison before we use one catalyst? No. Like, really, really not at all. We just play catalysts whenever, basically. I have 47 health. I think I'm going to be trying to kill before the big hyper beam turn here. Or I can probably like block with blur and dodge and roll and footwork plus if the boss fight goes long. Oh, bouncing class turn one is perfect. turn. I'm gonna want to just crippling cloud catalyst. Hey landers. Oh my god that's a lot of catalysts. <laughs> that is yeah that's a couple of catalysts. Quite get the turn three kill. Flee minions! Run for your lives! Carl's not with you. Oh, I'm a spooky ghost. Yeah, Wraith Farm seems pretty insane when the enemy has 200 poison on it. Because, like, you know, the enemy just dies straight away and you're, like, intangible. Cool. Unfortunately, I'm taking Tiny House from my boss relic. Pandora's Box, Transform all Strike, and Defend cards. Probably wouldn't be terrible, but I do have all of the defense upgraded, so probably not what I want. Wrist Blade, this is... I'm, yeah. <laughs> Tiny House. We got a potion, 50 gold, 5 max HP. Alright, this is great. Neutralize is upgraded. Hey, Deflect Plus isn't that bad. Not bad at all. Are the transform cards also upgraded from Pandora's box? No, they wouldn't be. The only reason that transformed cards are upgraded is. Hey, which Mal, thanks for the 12 months. I'm from sure to you as well. What did my lights do that time? That was really weird. Can we, like, run that back? This time they're just not going to do anything? Okay. Well, we'll have to work on that. What? It's not what you're meant to do. What? <laughs> okay. Um, the only reason that transform cards are upgraded is if they say that it transforms into an upgraded card or if you have one of the eggs. So if you get an attack, from your transform and you have multi then it would be an upgraded attack. But otherwise they are unupgraded. The other tricky thing with transforms is that a colorless card will transform into another colorless card. So you gotta be oh and a curse will transform into another curse too. So you have to be careful about transforming those. A common like like because there's no reason not to think this, right? A common like beginner mistake is to transform a curse thinking that it will turn into not a curse and then you just like get a different curse. Fuck. <laughs> you know? There really isn't any reason to think that that would happen from reading the game and what it says, but that's how it works. Um, sure. 
you can barely hear me. Game music is what it usually is. I'm probably just talking quietly because it is 4.08 a.m. I guess I can turn the game music down a little bit to compensate. turn or what feels like it's too early for wraith form but maybe this is the turn i'm playing wraith form maybe it is survivor costs zero it deals five to everything well it deals five to all Some sort of mental trick I have to quickly count the number of cards I have in my hand. I think I just like pattern, like recognize the pattern, recognize what it looks like to have a certain number of cards. Sometimes I have to count. Sometimes it's tough to tell between like 8 and 10. Maneuver plus? I do have a mummified hand for energy. And there's another deflect, which is alright. I don't think I want it though. Help maneuver. I'm gonna take an out maneuver plus. Feels like maybe the deck is capable of having easy turns where it can get away with playing out maneuver and a little bit starved on energy. So it seems like it adds up. People talk about Trials of Fire, I have not played it. 12, 17, sure. I do not have a lot of relics doing. One more Wraith form sort of cements this run as a win, I think. I'm taking five hallway fights in a row here. Possibly not the best idea. be particularly surprised if Outmaneuver disappoints. It also feels like a deck that only has to play like five cards to beat the heart fight. So just playing those cards instead of playing Outmaneuver would probably be easier. Tefrik, thanks for the two months. Ankabumo showed you as well. 
it's light again there, is it still considered after dark? It's not light yet here, so we'll say yes. This catalyst buffed. Oh, it's been like this for a while. This is when I'm awake right now, happy Miss Run. With six energy, do I just kill? 25, 75, 225. I can. I'll take 12, though. This way I still take a little bit, but not as bad. Berries, you can do that if you would like. Okay, one piercing whale's great. I feel like I've been missing a piercing whale. bit of damage this turn and then never take damage again in the fight. In fact, do I win this fight? Like, kill the enemy? I think I do. Yeah. Cool. Killed Transient. Also, I am a spooky ghost. Oh my god, filthy is up already? Healthy, why are you awake? Oh, it's like 6.15 there. Wow. Um... I don't know, it might be okay. It is upgraded. Can I have a bit of dexterity? I think I'm just gonna stick with the upgraded defense and stuff though. And then Gambler's Brew seems better than one of these potions, but I'm not sure which one. Hey Jensen! find the turn where it- oh, no. Sick. I almost found the turn where I was pretty pushing. Mummified hand sort of bailed me out there, though. Where are the kittens? They are asleep. Wraithform, and we hope that we hit one of the defends. Nice. Should get a relic for defeating Transient. There is an achievement for defeating Transient. Why is my light blue again? Did I make it green? There's some definite. <laughs> anti-synergy going on between the programs I'm using to run that light. I 
Just wondering about the fumes since I have mummified hand. Could be okay, especially against the Act 4 elites. It feels like it could be good to strip their artifact charges. Seems okay. Light is defect detecting a loss switching to defect color already. Hope not. It's unfortunate. Big if true. Great Farm is a pretty nice card to have in my hand for this fight. Alright. What were you attacking me for? Like 317. Good luck with that. anything. I don't think I've shuffled my deck. When was the last time I shuffled my deck? Act 1? Well, if we ever shuffle our deck, Sundial will stack. Once. Oh, well, Mawbank's here again. Okay. bunch next turn. Oh shit, we're getting attacked? <laughs> I missed that somehow. Alright, should have blocked. Well, it's not the end of it. Fossilized Helix is a very good relic. We got a good relic. Did not win the Brimstone run, Wombata. Alright. You sir, Theodis. Poison the heart and it gains artifact charges those block poison ticks. They block applications of poison, they do not block poison that's already on the heart though. So as long as we get poison down before they show up, we're good. If they show up um if they show up before we have a ton of poison on the heart though, it can be a little bit difficult to get through them to actually apply more poison. My favorite flavor of ice cream is egg yolk. <laughs> Work harder on the sundial. I'll pass. <laughs> That's okay. Favorite color is you, Ken Ken. You are my favorite color. Oh wow. But 
What's a fourth catalyst? Or a concentrate plus. Both of these cards are pretty appealing. I think the catalyst isn't upgraded, so probably I take the concentrate. I don't know that I need the concentrate now. Let's just take the catalyst. Concentrate would have maybe been worthwhile for Awakened One, yeah. Although another Catalyst is also worthwhile for Awakened One. Who do I think will win the Cricket World Cup? I'd say England is probably favorites. Right? England or India? Oh shit. Oh, that one was unupgraded. Well, fortunately, I have a buffer charge and also I'm a spooky ghost. GG. Outplayed. I'm still fun up will be very good right now, yeah. I also have the boot. Also have the boot. But yeah. If I'd taken the Concentrate, I could take Backflip right now. Maybe I'll take Backflip anyway. No one can stop me. Backing England, but India are looking strong. They are good at cricket, the Indian cricket team. This is my gambler's brew. Three times two, five, six, six. Six is a bit. Hey, Dennis, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Uncle Bomo showed you as well. Much appreciate the support. Donu Deca might be really tough. I don't think so. I think we're okay. Guess I can do this first. And if we get some poison on the left one. Hmm. And kill it, right? But then I. Twelve, thirty-six, forty-seven, fifty-two. Better of an approximate place. Oh, managed to save the potion. Move to a new city and start your new job in one and a half hours. Good luck, Smurf. Hope it's wonderful. somewhere, don't I? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He <laughs> shrunk or... I'll take a piercing whale. I don't think I want an ancient potion right now. Definitely have to recall. Got like 600 gold or something after Maw Bank for the Act 4 store, if we survive long enough. We might just die here though. I 
Happiness running. <laughs> the lights are uh, the background of the show. They're in the background. They're not the focal point of the show right now. Cloud, piercing whale, maybe? Crippling Cloud Survivor, I think. Well, that's enough to block the cultist's attacks, and then the buffer blocks the awakened one's attack, and next turn it's a multi attack, and the piercing whale is gonna be really good. play catalysts if I want. I don't seem to have any block cards here. Brawlers. This is an interesting fight. I guess I probably just end up winning it very easily. Maybe it's not that interesting. Whether or not to play the catalysts in phase one though was sort of interesting. Holy shit, the sun is coming up. Wow. What is this summer? What did it do with my comfortable darkness? Soul, thanks for the 13 months on Bomo show to you as well. A lot of the poison application is crippling clouds, those don't exist in the deck anymore right now. To drop Wraith Farm and win, right? Oh, good. Guess that's a no. <laughs> Not that turn.
sundial value? Did it just prop? Ah. We would have died without it. We would have died without it, I'm sure of it. Alright, Fumes is a really nice turn one draw against Donudaka. We'll start ripping up their artifact charges. Let's get some out of the way with this as well. is a good draw right now. He does, he thinks of the three months on Bomo Shodi as well. Not. So I can Wraith Farm now, or I can triple Catalyst to kill Donu. Feels better to Wraith Farm, probably. Spread the love. Webcam is blocking Donu's intent. Oh no. Oh no. There's too much jorbs! out Act 4. Hey, I made it to Act 4 two times in a row at like 4.30 a.m. That's pretty cool. Have I been playing all right? Might have actually been playing all right. Let's take the HP, it's only one HP to work with in this act. 590 gold, that's enough to mirror a wreath form. Yeah, GG. I don't know. Does anything matter after you mirror a wreath form? seems very good. Yeah, it seems pretty good. I think mirroring the waveform was the, the thing that was very good there, though. Form. Okay. Zero cost bounce. 
sink mask, okay. Valuables and venom for the artifact charges. Uh, we don't have enough attacks for that to be a sensible way to get rid of artifact charges, unfortunately. Hey, Aaron Pones, thanks for the seven months. Bumu show to you as well. to stop being intangible. I do have a second Wraith form in my hand though. Convenient. I don't think it's anybody's fault but the bombs that not many people pick the bomb. Hey, I even have Sundial in the right place. Look at that. Some sort of hardcore gamer here. I'm gonna take a fifth catalyst. Alright. Good luck, Heart. I wish you all the best. No really. I have both of my Wraith forms in my starting hand. All right, well, that's the end of that. Wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, I draw void here. It's like, yeah, I did draw void here. Play this, this footwork race form. Somehow this ended up being really close. the other wraith form now. So Yeah, so if I hadn't gotten that poison applied before the artifact stack there, that could have been pretty wrong. But I didn't get that poison applied before the artifact stack. Slime not cost zero. Uh, I made Wraith Slime cost zero, and I didn't play it. Don't I have piercing whales? Like two of them? Yeah, that's what I thought. Win. 
was closer than I thought it was going to be. It was 33% for lose at that turn? Was it? What? How? Oh, I had a double Wraith Form and a one cost slime in hand. I see what you're saying. Yeah, so it turns out that it is 4.45 a.m. after all. <laughs> yeah, you're totally right. Arvius, thanks for the raid! How was your night, Arvius? What were you up to? You always raided the tiny house. And that was only two and a half hours. Not gonna lie, they had us in the first half. You have a statistics test tomorrow? Any advice? Study statistics. Yeah, I think I'm winding it down. This is an unexpected time for me to be around. You're smashing things in Battle Brothers, 50 hours streaming. You've been enjoying that new Battle Brothers content a lot, haven't you? <laughs> 